Well, noobs, I'm doing, uh, this is A Miz, and I'm doing Hearts of Iron 2 Doomsday. I'm going to be doing the scenarios. Um, going to be doing uh, as many of them as I can, quite a few. I'm going to try and, my goal is to do all of them, at least once. Uh, this first time, I'm going to pick the easiest one, which I think is the Winter War, and play as Finland. I've played that in the game. And uh, I was able to help hold his Finland against Russia. It was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. Because um, every time I played Russia in the game, in the full campaign game, I've just rolled over Finland like it wasn't even there. But uh, it's the first time, so let's do some uh, some housekeeping. First off, I'm not gonna. This is not. This video is not to teach you how to play Hearts Iron 2. It assumes you know how to play it. I'm just going to play it and talk through while I play it. If you want to learn how to play Hearts of Iron 2, I'll tell you something up video you should watch, and that's that uh, really great series by Paradoxian LP. He's got this uh, line where he plays the UK campaign from 36 on. And uh, if you watch that, you will learn things about the game, a lot of things, because he is really good. He really knows his stuff. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to learn the game. I mean, I know the rules, but I really want to learn it because the idea here, I'd like to do almost some multiplayer games. But, uh, we'll see. Okay, let's get into this. Um, start with Finland. We're going to dive right here into the scenario. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Doomsday section. I don't have the cool, the last add-on, which is Armageddon. This is Doomsday, which is the first add-on to Hearts of Iron 2. It's what I've got. It's what I'm going to play with. You don't like it? Tough. Okay, here's Finland. Uh, battle scenario, objectives. Finland between January 16th and March 14th. So basically, it's Finland I just have to survive. I have to keep my victory points. Uh, victory points at least 55 for strategic, between 40 and 55 for marginal. Okay. Let's put it on pause. Start game. Uh, let's see what we got here. November 39. No technology, no production. But manpower. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Check that out. Look at all the mountain trips. Jesus. do have a fleet. Pretty sad, but as I remember, Russia should begin with just two level one battleships. Huh. Let's take a look at... Yeah. Oh. Huh. Olu. Huh. I don't think Olu is normally... Uh, victory point. I think usually it's these four right here and Vipuri. Olu is a victory point. I assume we start at war? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely at war. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, I want to keep this moving along, but I gotta find Mannerheim. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, he is the man. Jeez, this is the strategic reserve for. Now, the way to win this as the Soviets is to just punch everything in Leningrad and crush through this area. Yeah, that's. 
Land Fort of Two, that's what it is in the regular game too. Uh, nothing. No land forts up here. Pizamo is unoccupied. Okay. So hmm. Look at all the headquarters. Jesus. Okay, well the thing is with having Mannerheim there. Yeah. Defensive Doctrine and Winter Specialist. All these dudes are going to have the advantage of those... Huh. He's also Old Guard. I wonder... Does that mean that everything here also has the negatives of Old Guard? But I don't know the answer to that. Um, okay. Well, it looks like he's already coming into here. Or, hmm, I can't afford to lose any victory points. Okay, I don't think, yeah, he probably does begin with a transporter too. Hmm, December 8th, or December 10th, so it's faster to walk there, alright. All right, I'm not going to assign all the leaders. I'm just going to put the computer onto that. Oh, there's a commander. Assign auto leaders. So the computer will assign all my leaders. Hmm. Unless he's Grand Marshal, he doesn't get the advantage of the headquarters here. Hmm. I'm going to make this guy someone who has Defensive and Winter Doctrine. Let's make him a Grand Marshal. That way everything up in the north will have Winter Specialist too, and Defensive Doctrine. I wonder how that works. So if a guy up here has Offensive Doctrine, like that, this dude, does he get the benefits of defense and winter specialist and offensive? Because he personally has that? Or does he... Well, I don't know. Hmm. 26. Uh, okay. I'm going to move some dudes out of here. 